Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start with our daily content, remember that we closed the CMEs on $11,100 and most likely as soon as we're going to start to trade here with the CMEs again, we're going to have a new future gap since the Bitcoin price came up here to $11,400. Currently, we are seeing this consolidation up here at those levels and in theory, this could be a potential bull flag, which would lead us towards 11,500 and even higher. But this is what we're going to have to see once the CMEs are going to start to trade again, because in my opinion, most likely we will come down here to retrace down to where we close the CMEs on Friday and then potentially continue our bullish momentum to the upside because since we have broken now very significant resistance here at around $11,000 I think it is very likely that we see continuation to the upside in the next coming days and weeks and now let's start here in the one hour time frame because currently we are bouncing here nicely from the 20 moving average in a one hour time frame and this is now the first time that it starts to look a bit more bearish since we had already a couple of weeks below this moving average so this could lead into a potential little pullback towards this $11,000 where also we closed on Friday the CMEs and uh, that's why I think maybe in the next couple of hours we could lose here this support and have another pullback before maybe we're gearing up here to retest this $11,500 resistance and potentially also break it. The good thing is that currently we're still bouncing from the 20 moving average but of course the more we test this moving average the weaker it gets and watching here at the 200 moving average which currently is at $10,800 I think it is very likely that maybe if we're gonna see a bigger dump that we maybe go down here to test this $10,800 again before maybe we have another big bounce to the upside. The good thing is that the RSI right now is still above the 50 level so this is what we want to see during an uptrend and if we go over into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we are still trading on the upper area so in theory we are trading here between 11,350 to 11,390 before we're gonna see here another big move and the Bollinger Band is looking like we're squeezing again in this tiny channel and we're just waiting here for a breakout. The problem here is only that the KSD and MACD are shifting to the downside so we could expect a possible drop here at least towards the bottom of $11,300. Stochastic is oversold already so here in theory we could see another retest of this $11,400 but all in all here the one hour in my opinion is looking like that it's screaming here for a little pullback at least towards where we close the CMEs on Friday. And if we go over into the four hour time frame here, also you can see that currently we are still far away from all the moving averages and they usually act like a magnet. So if we're gonna have here a potential drop, then watch out here first for the 20 moving average at 11,150, more or less where we close the CME gap. And this is where I think you could maybe enter a nice long position, for example, over on a Bybit if you want to catch here a nice long, because in theory, this moving average should hold as a support during this uptrend that we initiated right now with this important breakout of the $11,000 resistance. The RSI here is in overbought condition, so this is what is making me a bit concerned. Also, I got a sell signal in my own indicator, so here we could maybe see even a bigger drop, even towards the 200 moving average, which currently is still here at $10,700. And if we have a look on the DXY where we stopped on Friday here, you can see that we were in oversold condition and the buy signal was about to get triggered. So maybe in the next coming week, we will see another bounce here on the DXY to the upside and a possible correction in the Bitcoin price before we are gearing up here for another big move to the upside because the DXY here lost significant support and we have a lot of room left here to the downside because in the DXY my target is now to reach a lower low so we should in theory reach this $91 in the next coming days and weeks and this is also why I think we will see big continuation to the upside in the Bitcoin price and maybe we will need way more time before maybe we're coming down to test the 200 daily moving average in the Bitcoin price which in my opinion is still possible to get tested very soon. 
And if we go over into the Bollinger Band in the four hour time frame, you can see that currently we are still trading on the upper area. So we are testing this moving average. If this $11,350 is getting broken, then watch out here for the middle line at $11,100. And this is also my next target here, at least for the short term to be reached maybe before we're gonna start to trade again on the CMEs because this is exactly where the CMEs closed on Friday. We have KST MACD still shifted to the upside. The momentum is clearly going up here and the top currently is at $11,615. So maybe we could even see this price level up here before we're having this correction down to 11,000 and retest this new support. We also have the stochastic currently in oversold condition. So here in theory, we have some room left to the upside and could easily go up here to test the $11,600. And if we have now a look into the daily time frame, you can see that currently we are trading above the 20 and 50 daily moving average, which of course is very bullish. And now in theory, we should have the 20 daily acting as a support. Even if we will see a possible dump, then watch out here for the 20 daily at $10,800. This is going to be a very important support area right now if we are seeing a correction, which doesn't mean that we have to go down right now. We also can start to fight here this 12K area again before maybe we're coming down to retest the 20 daily moving average and here you can also see that the RSI is coming up here very close to overbought condition but also here we have a lot of room left to the upside and still I'm expecting a huge correction here towards the 200 daily moving average which right now is at $9,600 if we're gonna see a big bounce in the DXY right now if the DXY is continuing to plunge into the abyss then the 200 daily moving average and the Bitcoin price will not get tested in the next coming weeks and months most likely because if we would go now to test the 200 daily moving average we will confirm an important support and also at the same time close the CME gap that we have still here at $9,600 and then we should be good to go to the upside but of course we can go first even up to 20k and even break it before maybe we're coming down to fill this gap here at 9,600 if it gets filled because they don't have necessarily to get filled but most of the times they are getting filled. So that's why there is still a high risk that we could go down here to test the 200 daily moving average and also close the CME gap before we're heading up here to new major highs. But of course, since we had now this bullish breakout from $11,000, everything is pointing out that we will see continuation here to the upside. The only problem is here in the Bollinger Bands, if we have a look here, you can see that we are currently overshooting it to the upside. So a little retracement, maybe down here to the two moving averages here between 10,800 to 10,700 is very likely before we're having another big lag to the upside. So a possible correction down to those levels is still in the cards. We are still overshooting the Bollinger Bands to the upside. The good thing is here that we have KST and MACD now shifted to the upside as well. And even the stochastic is here now in overbought condition. So let's see if we can sustain here above $11,000 or we're gonna see a possible pullback here towards $10,800 and there maybe initiate another correction towards the 200 daily moving average. This of course is only the bearish scenario if we really have to go down now to test the 200 daily and also close the CME gap at $9,600 and if so then take it as a very good long opportunity and also try to accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible because this could be really the last opportunity to buy so cheap Bitcoin before we're gearing up here for a major bull run which will come here in the next couple of years for sure. So this possible correction could happen at any time soon but I think as soon as we will break here also this $12,000 top that we had currently we will initiate a major run to the upside and probably we will not see sub 10k for a very very long time if ever again. And now let's have a final look also into the weekly time frame because if this weekly candle we're gonna successfully close above $11,000 this could initiate a parabolic run at least towards 12 even maybe to $14,000 and this is all gonna depend if we are able to close this weekly candle above $11,000. We are still trading above the 20 weekly moving average with a support here of $10,300. We have RSI also above the 50 level and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we are trading here again in the upper area so we went out of this channel that we were trading 
trading here in the last couple of weeks between 11,000 and 10,000 dollar and the top currently is up here 12,300 dollar so if we are able to close this week's candle above this 11,100 dollar I think it is very likely that we will have a big shoot up here towards this 12,300 dollar and potentially also break it and create at the same time a higher high because this is what we want to see during a bull market we have KST and MACD which are still trading a bit flat here I think also the KST is starting to look a bit bearish if we are not able to close this week's candle above $11,000 because in that case we could see a potential bearish cross which could lead into a possible correction even below $10,000 and if we're gonna see the bearish scenario as I told you in many videos already my friends is still at around $9,000 potentially where all also the 200 daily moving average is lining up at $9,600 but based here on the Bollinger Band in the weekly we could in theory fall even towards $8,400 so if you have already some buy orders down to these levels you should be doing fine if maybe we're gonna have a short lift wick or correction towards these price levels but all in all even if you're buying at $10,000 or right now you should be doing very fine in the next couple of years so if you still didn't accumulate as much Bitcoin as you want then this is still a very good price level you're still not too late right now don't wait till we're gonna break new all-time highs the bearish scenario of course could happen that we could fall even towards 8,500 to 9k but you definitely don't want to miss out the next bull run only because of this one to two thousand dollar price difference that we're having right now from the bearish scenario to the actual price of Bitcoin so with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget that if you want to to trade also here on Bybit or Femex for example Bitcoin and other assets you can use the recommended exchanges with the sign up links down below here you can get some rewards and also you support the channel of course and feel free to join also my discord trading chat and my other channel on Twitch you find all the links down below here and if you're interested in watching and getting my own indicator you can contact me over on discord so thank you very much for your support my friends moon up the likes here subscribe to the channel and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye